Hello, welcome to, a, to the Red Room and to another episode of Pimping Our Games in other more famous games. Today we're going to talk about, let's start with our game, well, sure, sure, setting, Orbital, Orbital Decay. Decay. So we are going to talk about hard, not that hard sci-fi. Yeah, no, but not soft as well. Yes, so exactly. Kind of. Okay, so uh, the first thing we should talk about is Alien. We don't touch mm -hmm. Alien, but uh, obviously it's probably the most famous. Uh, we had, IP. right? But you traded it for yes, I, something else. Yes, I traded it for something else. I can't remember what, but uh, it wasn't really what I was expecting. And uh, that yeah, the other guy was wanting to, to game master it, so it just traded. Yeah, he ended up game mastering it for us. Yeah. So that's it. Um, Alien is probably the, the most famous IP in this uh, in this it's genre, amazing. but uh, the game is fairly recent by Free League. And what well, it's, it's Alien. Free Leagues have been very clever in uh, yes. getting IPs that uh, are very in demand. Alien, Blade Runner. But before oh, there were, yes, so lots of games that yeah, were well, trying uh, to create that Alien, alien is basically the official thing, but yes, exactly. people were playing Alien for, for many years. And one of the things that people used to play Alien was this hostile, combined with other stuff from Zozer games. This is a TV6 game. Uh, actually, this is officially secret, I think so. Uh, at least it's a an adaptation of it. So I think it, it's an adaptation. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's not officially yes. just because it's not meant. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. It's filled in by secret, secret. but not, uh, not entirely. It's just on the back. So it's probably. Oh, anyway, hostile. Uh, hostile is a. It's probably it probably has now a larger setting because I I remember it having just one book and the, and the rules and setting in the same book so it probably but this is basically uh, an official idea. it's not really the same thing but there are corporations that you know which corporation is supposed to be which and there's a, there there are references to other uh, games there there's probably some kind of connection with their other game uh, the cyberpunk one. Though I'm not entirely sure about that, it's the the other one is called uh, Zaibatsu. So I believe there's some kind of connection. Uh, well, that one just uh, they have been connected. Yes, the, that's what I was going to say. Yes. So this this our our sci-fi game Orbital Gate uh, can be used as a uh, standalone, but it wasn't made to be a standalone. First of all, this is not a true game. I like the just... way how he, I don't like the way you show the books. You don't show the books well enough. Let me. So this is this is the core book, the rules for Ratchet. That's a game setting, just the game setting. There's no rules. That's a small one. Yes, for, with at least compared with our with our usual stuff. So uh, this was in the, now the explanation why this one is small because it was made to be an expansion to a one that is very <laughs> large. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> That is a kind of cyber most game. of the information is there. This just adds some information to that. So if you want, if you like light settings, you don't want lots of information. If uh, free leagues alien is enough for you, this is enough for you as well. Especially if you're going to go into space, you probably don't need a lot of back uh, uh, yeah. story of so what's going on. You need some rules, and you can use these ones because they are free in digital format, so you can just get them. At our store, at Big Geek Emporium, or Giant Slayer Games. And for the people that don't know, this is a, a D20 the system. Yeah, I know what's up. Um, so it's a, for us, it's a small setting, but uh, it develops on the other one that's a, a very large setting. So it's, uh, and probably there will be things for uh, Orbital Decay in the Yes, in the I future. think so. This is just the beginning for this. Probably there will be a larger setting. But so this is it depends how it, how it goes but let's uh let's talk about the other thing before we, we get into our setting this is cold and dark let me show this one properly this is one of uh, it was one of our favorites for some time it's yes that, it's from the same author that play that created nocto uh, that we spoke about some videos ago when we talked about and it, uh, yeah and it is um, it uses more or less the same system 
from Nocturne, the second edition of Nocturne, not the first edition, because there's the first edition with a very ugly cover. Um, the second is just a stylish thing. There no, no drawings, it's just a, I'm not sure what it's in there. I can't remember. It's a, it's a white cover with a barbed wire or something, something mm -hmm. else, and just lettering. Okay, so uh, Nocturne and this one share the same system, though this one is adapted to the futuristic uh, setting, and the other one is just a contemporary. This is based um, the same way as the others. It's based on, on Alien and uh, Outland, which is a very nice uh, resource for this kind of game. Well, it should also have a bit of uh, Starship Troopers. Yeah, probably. Because they have that for... Yeah, there's some, some, some uh, there's a world with that. Yeah, uh, but mostly this one is mostly uh, inspired by the, the the game series Dead Space. You notice that if you if you look at the game, and I think there is a quick start for this one. Yeah, I think it, yeah, there is one. Uh, if if the book is still available, I don't know because Modifius. And I'm not sure if they are still... But in this case, we probably they have still live it because this is not an IP. Mm -hmm. Unless uh, they... Yeah, no, probably not. This is by Wicked Games, which was the, the guy's... Um, the guy's publishing. Miss... Miss... Uh, Thomas. Thomas, yes. Uh, illustrations are very good in this one. And uh, it wasn't. It was a failure, probably. Well, it didn't. It didn't have as many much attention as it deserved. Yeah. yeah, but the illustrations are quite, yeah, quite nice. I don't know who the author is, but he did a very good job. So. Okay. And there's another book just for say this one. There's yeah, a book just for planet, but yeah. the sort of book. But that one is a digital format. We printed it, but. Uh, that doesn't need to show it because that yeah, well, that's not the, the better illustration. Yeah, the, the other one does almost no illustrations. Okay, let's go through the two hour setting now. Uh, so, or we'll get it. this is a kind of, not, not, I wouldn't say near future, but it does, it's not uh, far future as well. It's uh, 100 and something, 150 years in the future. So it will be in the beginning of the space exploration. Yeah, so after. Uh, the the large one back there is the uh, the near future one, uh, but it picks up that and uh, it develops it when people uh, start exploring uh, space and start building colonies and uh, space stations, and uh, basically that's it. Uh, there's information about uh, there's a bit of history of future history. Uh, but not not really developed. There are some descriptions of uh, colonies and uh, corporations. Most of them are the same that uh, that existed in the new flesh. Some powers and equipment that you can uh, add to what you can also find here, because this book has uh, has some equipment for uh, futuristic games. This is the generic rules and. Uh, and as a good so you don't, don't really need the other one. You can just use this and that book, and you don't need anything else. There are rules for um, wear and tear that, that doesn't exist in this one. Uh, the, the insanity rules are also developed. Yeah, that's what the tower is looking uh, adapted to. And you have special space. arrangements for space, of course. And uh, scavenging rules and uh, exposure to several uh, radiation and uh, well, that kind of thing that 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 uh, encounters in space and uh, and obviously there are tables for uh, encounters and scavenging the kind of thing that you should expect from this kind of uh, so it's it's not really it's hard because our sci-fi because it's supposed to be to look like an industrial uh, sci-fi movie but it's not hard sci-fi in, uh, in the way that it should look realistic mm -hmm. it's just it's hard because it's hard it's, it's, the, it's, it's, it's yeah it's gritty sci-fi industrial yeah it's a gritty sci-fi the the name is is that one gritty sci-fi so you you'll be uh people uh, Drilling space or 
colonists or investigators or engineers or engineers or pilots or astronauts or whatever and um and obviously there are there are supernatural teams here as well because uh, all of our games have them and in space uh, no one can hear you die to watch ghosts or whatever um <laughs> So it's a mix of things. So you, you can encounter um, alien creatures, but you can find them there as well. But you can also mix it with space, which is a space opera, if you want. So it, it, this stays in the middle ground between New Flash, which is near future, biopunk, uh, future noir, and Wretched Space, space. which is space opera. And this one stays there. If you want to advance it a bit, you can connect it to wretched space, or you can use it just as a, a grittier, a grittier version of uh, if wretched space. If you don't want to go well, wretched space is not very epic, but if you don't want yes, to go full but, space uh, opera. Yeah, you can uh, just pick up some ideas from here and the, the additional rules that, that you, you can encounter here and adapt it to wretched space. Forget about uh, the references to setting that comes in this one because they are adapted to new flash, so it makes no sense. Uh, transporting goes to, to to space, much of space, um, but it could be used for backwater planets, for example. The, the rules you find here on the tables, you can adapt it to, to less developed uh, planets and civilizations. And I think that's it. But this is not really a large setting, so there's not much to say about it. Um, so yeah, if you like Alien, hostile, cold and dark, if you even know it. <laughs> <laughs> or just uh, if uh, you're interested in running something like Outland or, or um, other movies, uh, movies of the 70s, probably. Uh, uh, great, uh, 70s, 80s, now. It's great your sci fi because people aren't making that anymore. So Alien is one of them. No, I'm, I'm thinking that this could also be used, though it's for space, for those uh, movies, well, like the scene. When people are yeah. not in space but isolated, yeah, well, yeah. vacuum and all that radiation can also impact there. Uh, if you take, I think there's there are versions of the thing that are in yeah, space. Space, I know they are, but I can't it, remember now. There are versions of the thing everywhere. Yeah. So if you if you take the that uh, that uh, what's it called? Uh, it's in Antarctica. Yes, it's Antarctica. So if you take it from Antarctica and you put it in, in the planet, planet yes. somewhere, you can play it here. So. All those things that are uh, uh, where the the themes are isolation and uh, scarcity of resources and encounters with uh, creatures that are uh, going to eat you yes, and a bit of destroy. Yeah. yeah. So that, you can see by the cover that it's that's all about that that kind of thing. And it can um, be used for uh, damn it. Well, Event Horizon. Although that yeah. goes completely yes. over. So if you want, to, it could also be. So if you want to join this one with dark, uh, darkness, that would be more like a, a event horizon thing. Uh, because well, not necessarily, but you can just use this and you don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. You just need this and that, and you can do a an event horizon uh, one shot, or probably not just one one shot. A very short campaign. Yeah, a very short campaign. Okay, I so think this is it. enough. Bye-bye. Okay. And uh, remember, you can find this at the Red Room Store, uh, Big Camporium and Giant Slayer Games, and also at Lulu in, in, in Italy. In Italy.